Today I'm going to tell you about Proud Pegs, a super simple way of ensuring that what makes your kids tick is reflected on the walls of your classroom. So I love a good classroom display, but sometimes they can become quite perfect or a reflection of what the teachers or the support staff think really matters, rather than maybe sometimes what motivates the children. So Proud Pegs are great because they give a children a say in what work is displayed. So how it works is like this. In a part of the classroom, you have your Proud Pegs display, and you could do this on a washing line or on a board, um, and every child has a peg, and they can personalize their peg, put their name on it, decorate it with their face, whatever they like. They make their peg their own. Now, each child has a peg, and they can decide what is displayed using that peg. Now, it might be a piece of work they've completed in class, it might be a piece of work they've completed at home, or they might choose to show a picture that represents something that they've done either in school or outside of school. They can put absolutely anything in their proud peg. The rule about proud pegs is the child has to be prepared to talk to another child or an adult about what it is they've put there and tell them why they're proud of it and why they chose to put it there. I really liked this because in the school I was visiting, when I looked at the Proud Peg section of each classroom, I saw a really wide range of stuff being shared. And it was lovely because it enabled children to bring their outside interests into school, but it also enabled children to share different parts of themselves and for us to understand what they were proud of and why and what interested them and what were their passions and all those kinds of things. And it showed a real diversity within each classroom. There was a huge range of different stuff uh, being shared and I just thought it was a really great way of getting that little bit of pupil voice coming through. The school I was looking around was a primary school um, and they did this in every classroom right from the tinies uh, up through to year six and you saw a real range of different stuff. The girl who was showing me around a quite serious year six was brilliant and she really zoned in on her own proud peck and couldn't wait to tell me about the piece of work there so it clearly really motivated her um, but the other thing that really amused me was that she did say very seriously the only thing is Pookie that you have to make sure that you're careful about what you choose to put on your proud peg because people will touch it and it just, yeah, it tickled me. I thought it would tickle you too. So Proud Pegs, really, really simple idea, but everyone I've mentioned it to has gone, that's great, we wanna try it in our school too. So thanks so much to Croydon High, um, who were the school where I first saw this. I don't know if it was their idea or it came from outside, but that is where I pinched it from. Um, it'd be really lovely to hear if you do something like this in your school, or if you've got other ways of allowing children to have a bit of a voice about what's on the walls and whether you can imagine this working. So please take a moment to leave a comment down below with whether you do something something like this or something different uh, to enable your pupils to shine and um, remember that loads of different people watch these videos so when you leave a comment you really add to it because your ideas will often be picked up by other people in other schools across the UK and sometimes beyond as well. Thank you so much for watching please do come again and subscribe if you haven't already. See you next time, bye!